like the pink flag. <laughs> there is a white spot that's around cream. And the city, the ancient city, uh, Petra is lying between the big mountains. It cannot be see seen from this area. Uh, you don't believe that there is a city until you enter inside. At that time, there was a tyrant king ruling Egypt. One day, one of the priests told the king that he had had a dream that a child was born from the Israelite tribes and this child would take over and rule the country. When Moses' mother gave birth to her son, she was afraid that the son, you know, be killed. So she put him in a basket or a wooden box and said the basket flowed down the river Nile. Of course, she was heartbroken at having to do this. Moses was afraid of the snake, but Allah, the Lord, told him not to be afraid and to touch it again and it would turn into a stick again. It's a long story, my friends. Uh, anyway, <laughs> after that, Moses led his people to the promised land. And when they arrived at the, dead, uh, at the Red Sea, the king of Egypt followed them. Moses hit the sea and the sea parted to show land. So they are all crossed safely, except the king who drowned in the Red Sea. After that, Moses led his people to the Promised Land, but he stood over here first, saw the Promised Land, but he didn't enter the Promised Land. He died over here in 120 years old. After that, Joshua, the son of Nun, took over and occupied Jericho, the oldest city in the world. Remind me, what's the second oldest city in the world? Babylon. Babylon. The third one? Huh? Ur. Ur, of course. What's the oldest capital city in the world? Damascus. Damascus and Syria. Very good. But nobody knows exactly where his burial place. Nobody knows. The Byzantines built a church over here around 6th century A.D. You see the Jordan River in the middle, you see the dark line in the middle? That's the Jordan River where Jesus Christ was baptized. Jericho, the oldest city in the world, 27 kilometers from here. The famous Dead Sea Skulls, absolutely. They were found in 1947 by one of the Bedouins. They were found inside a cave. The Dead Sea Scrolls can be seen at the Jordan Museum in Amman. Whenever you have a chance to go to that museum, it's really recommended. Very beautiful stuff inside this museum. 
Jerusalem, about 46 kilometers from here, that way. Bethlehem, where Jesus Christ was born, about 51 kilometers from here. The Sea of Galilee, 106 kilometers from here, that way. Or the Lake of Tiberia, the second name. This is the most fertile area in Jordan. They grow all kinds of vegetables, fruit, citrus fruit, and they export to the Gulf countries. military zone but now we can visit the Jordan River we get permit from the uh, military intelligence department we call it and then we visit the Jordan River of course nowadays it's considered one of the Christian uh, pilgrimage uh, sites recognized by the uh, Pope by the Vatican so um, they built many churches, you will see when we get there, Greek Orthodox churches, Russian churches, uh, Coptic churches, uh, Roman Catholic churches, different churches actually down there. You can see it here, to the right. Oh yeah, that's cool. Why are you going to be in the 